Good morning, Grade 6. Today, I'm going to discuss some guides on how will you make your PA 3-1 in English, which entitled Personal Narrative Writing. So, I hope after this discussion, you would be able to compose your own personal narrative writing. Alright? So, first, let's define what is narrative writing. Narrative writing is all about telling stories. How many different stories can you think of? Which is your favorite? So you're going to make your own personal narrative and make sure that it is a true story about your life. Alright? So a personal narrative is a story that really happened. Or a true story, a story that happened to or observed by the writer, a story that makes the reader think or feel the same as the writer felt at that time, a story that shows strong feelings. It presents the events in a clear order, usually according to when it happened. A story that is written in the first person. Use these words, I, me, my, us, and we. So this means personal narrative is a story about something important in the life of the writer. Remember grade 6? It should not be like an autobiography or a life story or about yourself. It should be about a moment or event in your life. Okay? So, we have steps in writing a personal narrative. First will be the introduction or start with a catchy lead. So, first few sentences of your story using catchy lead or the following. First sound, talking, question, and setting. So, let's talk about sound. Sound or onomatopoeia on the beginning or in the beginning of your paragraph or story. Example, boom, I heard a loud crash in my house. So the reader will be interested on what sound did you hear uh, in your story, okay? Next one is talking or dialogue. Go away, I told my brother. Using dialogue to start your writing is a good idea as well. Do not forget to put the semicolon in your dialogue, okay? Next one is asking question. So, starting with a question in your introduction is very attractive to the reader as well. Reader might get interested to the following details of your story. Example, have you ever been to a water park? Next one is setting, where and when. So you can start your introduction with your setting as well. Focus on where and when the event happened. Example, one dark stormy night last weekend. I was home alone. So, next one, let's go to the body. So, body contains a series of paragraphs using details, descriptive words, and sentences. Add additional information you would like to share about the topic. Use transition words like first, then, next, after, last, and finally. So, using descriptive words and sentences that help the reader imagine your story in their mind. Anyone should be able to read your story and imagine exactly what happened. This also makes your story interesting and fun to read. So, lastly, let's talk about how to make or how to end your story. In conclusion, it tells why it was a meaningful event. We also have ways to end your conclusion. First, remind the reader of your main idea. 
Example, have you been to the zoo? I had a blast at the zoo this weekend. So, that was your opening, right? In your introduction. So, you can end it by reminding the reader of your main idea. You can say, my trip to the zoo was awesome. Don't you want to visit the zoo now? So that will be your closing or conclusion. It's still reminding the reader of your main idea. Okay? Another is lesson learned. So if your topic is about your past experiences and what you've learned or if you learned something from it. You can say next time it snows, I will definitely be on the lookout for slippery ice. Instead of saying, then I went home from the hospital, right? First example sounds better. Next one, update example. Now my baby sister is 2 years old. She gets cuter and cuter every day. So this example of update is if you are writing about something that happened long time ago you might get the reader reader an update so if your story is about vacation in a certain place you can end with hope example i hope i can go back to japan before the summer breaks or the summer break ends so you can end your Conclusion with these ways, all right? So here is an example of a personal narrative writing. It is about a summer vacation. So the paragraph starts with a catchy word or an onomatopoeia sound. Ring, 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 the sound of the school bell. So each paragraph contains the experience of the writer during summer vacation. Also, the writer used transition words. Notice the detail starts or connect with transition words like first of all, after, and finally. Also, for the details, the writer narrated, narrated her or his experience during summer vacation. The writer used dialogue. The writer ends the story with hope that he or she wished the summer vacation never ends. Another example of personal narrative. The title is Keep an Eye on the Sky. The writer gives his or her narrative a title. So, Kids or grade 6, make sure your writing or your story has a meaningful title, okay? So, the first paragraph, the writer sets the scene and makes the reader want to read more. So, the scene or the setting happened in the gym class. The writer describes an experience that happened to him or her. So, in the first introduction, the writer started his or her story in setting. Okay, you remember ways of introducing your story. You can use setting, which is where the story happened and when it happened. And also, it describes experiences that happened to him or her. And the writer describes a problem he or she faced in the second paragraph. So here, descriptive words. Um, you can use descriptive words, okay? Next one is the writer in the third paragraph. The writer describes his or her feelings about the certain situation. So, also using descriptive words in additional information. So, last or in fourth paragraph, the writer gives details to help the reader from form a picture of the events. So, the writer describes the events in the order in which they happened. So, 
it is the reader feels that they are in the story. So always remember, a personal narrative writing, you have to make the reader feels that they are actually in the story. So here, in the fourth paragraph, the writer uses some onomatopoeia sound. You can see the next thing I knew, I heard the sound of a ball whizzing through the air. Okay, so lastly, the writer ends his or her story by sharing what he or she learned from this experience. So one way to end your story in your conclusion, you can write lesson learned, okay, from that specific experience. So that's all great. Six, I hope that you learned something and you can use this as a guide when you make your PA in English. All right. So have a good day. Stay safe and God bless. Bye.